Corey Dunham is a leadership coach and mentor. And if you're thinking maybe I should do this to kind of, things don't quite feel right in my life, Corey's the guy for you. <laughs> is that what people say when they come to you? Is like, I just, I feel stuck. I hope that's what they say. <laughs> 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 but yeah, they usually come to me when they do feel stuck with something yeah. and they're trying to overcome or achieve some of those goals that maybe they've been working on for years or maybe decades they still haven't gotten into. So, so talking about <clears throat> goals, I'm sure that habits yeah. are relatable to that. So when yeah. you're talking about habits or right habits, what are areas to consider? Uh, well, first of all, you got to figure out what your clear goal or vision is. You know, why do you want to develop these habits? Is it just to have a habit mm -hmm. or is it really to develop something that you're kind of unconsciously thinking about mm -hmm. or not thinking about? Your unconscious is just taking over and you're naturally doing those things. Because it's easy for me to find bad habits, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. developing those good habits is important. So forming those habits and making yeah. progress, how do we get off on the right foot every day? Uh, one of the things is to have an excellent morning routine. Mm -hmm. So, um, like for me personally, I get up, I read the Bible, I pray, do a devotion, I exercise, I drink water, and then I also read from a business book and then try to either meditate or reflect on those things that I've read. And uh, I don't always do that, but... Most days. Yes, yes, but at least I have a routine in the morning that starts and launches that day. So tell me how you would, or what you would say to somebody who says, I don't have those habits, how do I develop those? Uh, well, number one is start off small. Be very simple, start off small, and maybe you only have up to three main things you're trying to accomplish. And, and one of the, I think a key principle to that is a keystone goal. A keystone goal is a goal that says, hey, if I accomplish this goal, how many other things will come along automatically with it when I accomplish this one thing? So an example might be when you're planning for a vacation, which if, when people plan for a vacation, that's probably almost the ultimate goal setting uh, situation that you can break up and see the different things. You've got a deadline, mm. you're focused exactly where you're going, you've committed or invested in maybe airline tickets or the hotel mm -hmm. or whatever it is, you're visualizing it on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. When you think of it, you're happy, you're getting emotions of all. So vacations are probably, the, like I said, the best goal setting, uh, setting example out there. So, so plan your life like a vacation. I was gonna say that, yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. And you, you should, really. Right. But most people don't do that. They go day to day and they just kind of right. lounge and let things happen instead of being proactive. And then we can get on a roll sometimes and get you know, and then like something will happen and we get off Shiny. track and then like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we need you to keep us in line. Yes. CoreyDunham.com yes. is a leadership coach and mentor. You're going to love working with Corey. I love working with Corey in our contacts all the time.